Love Me Do. Love Me Do was the first 20 top hits song by the Beatles. This song is basically about loving someone and, want, and wanting that person to love you back. It was one of the first recordings of the Beatles in EMI Xavier Room Studios. Even with the song being already played in concerts before. The song was the first collaboration of Paul McCartney and John Lennon, also known as Lennon McCartney's song. Please, 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 Burn the Beatles. Burn the Beatles was a story that marks their career because one of its members, John Lennon, said in an interview that the band was more popular than Jesus Christ, causing a big mess and make them lose all of popularity. The Beatles in the USA. The Beatles first arrived in the USA to, in 1964 to appear. Uh, mainly in the Ed Sullivan Show in New York. They also performed two live concerts. The first of these concerts in, and the first of all in the West is in Washington, D.C. in the Collegium Stadium in February 11th. In my life. In my life is a song by Beatles that was ranked 23rd of the 500 greatest songs of all time, a list by the Rolling Stones magazine, and this song is commonly played in special occasions, which is like weddings, funerals, and anniversaries. In My Life In My Life was one of the most famous Beatles songs, and was in the 23rd position among 500 best songs of the recent times, and also been in the 5th place among the 100 best Beatles songs. The night in the build. In 1987, the brand night was in the process of re reviving and their super signing market. And they want to promote the new era of like shoes made as well Revolution Motion. They had the idea to use their the class song Revolution of the band of the band Beatles. But the band Beatles don't agree with the idea to use their song and prohibited all their songs until today. Paul McCartney death hoax. The life story was one of the more mainstream reactions that emerged during that time to help investigate a rumor and finally despair that a hoax. Yet the tale about Paul demise is still to this day survives in some corner as an urban legend. Paul is dead saga. During a moment of the band internal crisis, a rumor started that the Paul McCartney was dead. According to the story, Paul died in a car accident and was replaced by a Susie to save the fans from sadness. But soon the case was investigated and revealed as a scam. In August 1916, the Beatles released the 70s studio album titled Revolver. One more song is titled Tomorrow Never Knows, created by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, but written mostly by John Lennon. The Beatles in this album and the ball and the one before it, called Robert Soul, began venturing in what's now known as psychedelic jam. Dear Prudence. Okay, so basically it was during a large group trip to India. Um, the Beatles, Mia, Mia Farrow, an actress, and her sister, her sister called Prudence, were visiting a famous guru called Maharishi Maheshi. Um, the Beatles noticed that Prudence was staying long periods of time locked in her room, making them worry she was depressed. So John wrote a song for her called Dear Prudence that was basically telling like how much they wanted her to go back, to come back and have fun with them. So they jammed that song for her and they all found out that she wasn't really depressed, she was actually focused on learning transcendental meditation.
You say you want a revolution? Well, you know. Uh, well, you know, we all want to change the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs>